Thanks for tuning in to this latest video weather briefing. We're going to talk about the wet start to the water year and the impacts that have occurred across Southern California and provide an outlook for the rest of December. Well, we've started off really wet across especially the southwest United States and Southern California, particularly in San Diego County where precipitation has been at least two times as much compared to average. Temperatures have been warm too across California as a result of several Santa Ana wind events this fall. Now when we zoom up in Southern California, we can see the gradient is quite sharp that in San Diego County, two to three times as much as normal precipitation has occurred, but even significantly one and a half times or more across San Bernardino and Western Riverside County. Specifically, some locations show it in detail, San Diego City, two times as much compared to average to date. Even Ramona, two times as much precipitation compared to average to date. We've also seen significant snowfall with our mountain resorts areas recording snowfall in the top 10 compared to this time any year. Speaking of snowfall, the Sierra Nevada has also picked up significant precipitation over the past two weeks, late November and early December, bringing them right around average the actual snowpack is looking like about average two and a little bit above average with 130 percent of normal in the southern Sierra Nevada. The cause of our weather or lack of weather blocking up a level ridge of high pressure has shifted most storms and this has been going on really since May 2019 well to our north and diving across tapping into cold air but also leaving a window open to tap into tropical moisture to our south. When those two have merged, we've had our most significant precipitation, such as what we saw Thanksgiving Day. Now in the ocean, uh, we also see strong signals reflected of that weather pattern is the northern Pacific, much above average sea surface temperatures or the temperature of the water. Across the Equatorial Pacific Ocean, not much signal. No El Nino or La Nina has been in effect. And by far and large, due to the lack of significant storms, wave action, and wind currents, the ocean remains much above average or warmer than usual in the northern Pacific due to that weather pattern we just discussed. What is the outlook expected to bring us? Well, it looks like we'll get back to a stormy weather pattern across the Pacific Northwest and Northern California first as the jet stream sags into that region and then across all of California just before Christmas time as the storm system takes aim into Central California. Here's the highlights of what we've been looking at. Eight Santa Ana wind events and that's brought the warm temperatures to coastal California this fall. Basically four precipitation events and three of those were tapped into weak atmospheric rivers starting in late November. Above average temperatures across the California coast especially and above average precipitation especially across San Diego County tapering as you go north. Dominant upper level high pressure, much warmer than average ocean temperatures underneath this. And this upper level high pressure has caused the overall weather pattern or amplified weather pattern across the west coast. North Pacific Ocean temperatures continue to run much above normal, but this is not an El Nino or La Nina. Merging of tropical moisture has also been evident with that cold air coming down from the north, and that's brought our biggest storms, especially Thanksgiving Day. We look for a return to quite active wet weather pattern across California, especially after December 18th. Tune into the latest information on Facebook and Twitter, and you can follow the weather on our webpage, weather.gov San Diego. Thanks for tuning in.